Good morning, beautiful people. And today we're gonna do some hiking and uh, up at Mount Beacon. Um, it's kind of it's kind of cool morning, so it's about fifty four degrees Fahrenheit. No, forty six. I'm sorry, forty six. And um, uh, so it's obviously it's gonna be a little bit chilly up there. Uh, it's about two miles hike. Normally it takes me an hour and a half to get up there and about 45 minutes to go down, back down, uh, downhill anyway. Um, so I bring a bag, uh, I have another camera in here, obviously I gotta bring a little bit, uh, shirt, water, an extra sweater, just in case it's a little bit cooler up there. Um, come on, let's go. Beacon. This is the starting point. Uh, again, it takes me about an hour and a half to get up there, uh, mainly because I'm slow. But um, other people probably takes uh, half an hour or so. Um, so I remember there was one day me and my son went up there, and there was a guy who passed that three times and we were not even close to be on the top so that's how slow I am but you know I'll take my time enjoy the view and whatnot so uh, yeah we'll see what's up there it has to be a nice view all right come on let's go all right they put a two benches on here this these are kind of new before you uh, ascend goes kind of first steep I guess these are designed to uh, when people take a break and whatnot and they put two tables I guess you can do uh, sit there and do some snacks after uh, climbing that mountain all right all right so when you get to the foot of the mountain they put stairs on them because it's very steep um, so that way it's a lot more easier for you to go up to the hill all right these stairs looks very easy but they're so steep that I'm catching my breath <laughs> it's been a while since the last time I came here Oof. definitely I need a lot of exercise. Holy cow, those two just came down. <sighs> they were running like, just like an everyday jog. <sighs> wow. Jeez. All right, let's keep going. All right, so these are a trail that leads you all the way to the top. And there's a marker there. I don't know if you see them. The red one. All you have to do is follow them. And then that gets you where you're supposed to go. That way you don't get lost. Way through and 
Whew, I'm sweating. Oh, jeez. Holy cow. I've seen people come in and out, and they seem to be just fine with it. Meanwhile, I'm struggling just to go to the top. Holy cow. Whew. I probably stop at least four times already. And uh probably do some more. Um we're almost to the top. And um I'm super exhausted. Oh my goodness, I'm sweating like crazy. Jeez. I can't wait to see you guys the view. Alright, where it goes that way, and there's also a trail goes that way. Let's go on the other one, because it's a lot more wider, and it's more space to walk on than the other one. So very close. Alright, we finally, finally arrive on top, and um, I'll show you what the view looks like. For about 15 minutes or maybe 20 had my stop look at the view it's incredible that would be the Hudson River oh I think it's good it's time to go back down so it's it's got to be a lot more easier um, you know so um, all right that's for the day that's for the hike it's a good weekend um, it's very nice to get up up here early in the morning because you beat the crowd um, there's a lot of people hike here from New York City because there's this train station right there right on the water not on the water by the water I'm sorry um, so it's just people just hop on the train and stop and do some hiking and there's a really neat um, little town in there called Beacon and you can just grab and eat and whatever you need for the weekend it's it's really good so let's go back down and beat the crowd and which we did today it's kind of awesome all right I'll see you next time wherever we're going